Hey guys, NJ Tech here with another FPV acro guide for you. If you remember from the last tutorial, we had a look at the peekaboo maneuver. And whilst we could move straight on with a similar or more advanced maneuver, I think it's pretty important that we just cover a few of the basics first, as I'm well aware that some of you are just getting into acro flying. Jumping straight to the hard stuff without some basics isn't such a hot idea. So for many acro maneuvers with a multicopter, there comes a time where flying the right way up just isn't enough for you anymore, right? Well, although this is where much of the fun stuff can start to happen, multicopters aren't actually inherently very good at flying upside down by virtue of design, and they certainly don't offer us much aerodynamically like, say, an airplane would. So how do we get these nice floaty maneuvers to work in our favour and not just pull us straight into the ground? Well, we sort of cheat a little bit. Um, with the clean trajectory and tracking that things like air mode in beta flight afford us, a few tricks on the sticks and we can fall gracefully instead. So there is a technique that I'm sure many of your favourite FPV acro pilots do without even thinking about it, and it's happening in my flight video right here an awful lot. And that's what I'm going to call pop, drop, manoeuvre and catch. Just as with the other video, as a prerequisite, I suggest using either an idle up switch with a throttle curve to keep your prop spinning at their minimum when you drop the throttle stick to zero, or my preference, air mode, which has the advantage of keeping your full pitch and roll rates available. So let's break this down, first by looking at a basic roll up at full speed. Okay, so let's slow that down and just have a look at what's going on. Um, so the aim of this, I, I mean, I'm doing this nice and, and, and low down, and that really is just to highlight what's going on um, during this sequence of events um, from the perspective of altitude. If you're doing this, do it nice and high. Um, as I've said in my other videos, two or three mistakes high. If you mess up during the maneuver, you've got you know, two or three times you can correct to get yourself level and out of the problem um, before you hit the ground. Um, but as I said, I'm just doing this so that you can see what's going on in terms of uh, in terms of altitude. Now, um, to start this sequence off, we are going to do the pop. And um, I've mentioned this before again about um, relating it to throwing a ball, and it is very, very similar. You know, if you you want a, a ball to go its maximum distance, you don't just throw it in a straight line ahead of you, you throw it up as well as if you're throwing it over a tree or something. Uh, and with the same amount of velocity, it, you know, it will go further. Um, it will escape gravity for a bit longer and stay in the air for longer before it eventually hits the ground. And we're kind of applying the same principles here. As we track along, during that point where we go inverted with the quad, um, we can't have any uh, any thrust, any throttle um, in, in the maneuver because that's going to propel us towards the ground. And it's also going to make your roll look quite untidy um, or flip or whatever it is that you're doing that's going to involve you going inverted. Um, so as you dump the throttle, we need to make sure that we have some up, upwards velocity um, to the maneuver as well as moving forward and, and this is going to maximize our hang time allow us to get round the maneuver um, before we then catch again with the throttle so there's the the first part of the maneuver the pop we're going to push the throttle forward and we're going to get ourselves um, moving skyward and, um, and and getting ourselves into the air before before we do the first part of the maneuver so let's just see that slowly so you can see here just lining up and you make a note of where I am altitude wise. There's the pop um, and then at this point I've, I've popped enough. I'm now going up as well as moving forward. I'm now going to drop the throttle and more or less straight away you can see I'm now going into this uh, right roll with the sticks here. Um, and because I'm low to the ground I'm not going to hang around. I'm going to get through this nice and quickly. Um, and you can see here more or less fully deflected uh, heading round to inverted. Um, again, if there was any thrust involved here, um, and it depends on the speed of your rates as well, how quickly you're going to, to do this roll. If you had thrust in here, it would start to make this roll not be on axis. It would start looking very untidy. You know, this is another reason why we drop the throttle all the way down. So you can see these uh, two uh, motors have gone to their minimum and the other two are, are, are moving pretty fast in order to get us to go around that that roll nice and quickly so we're going around the roll and then just as we start to level up and see the horizon again and you can see now we're just starting to drop again here um, so we've we've 
we've used up the energy of that that vertical velocity energy that we put in when we pop the throttle we're now starting to descend again this is where the catch part of the uh, sequence comes in and we now have to catch again with the throttle so the quad is now starting to drop we put the throttle in to arrest the descent and how much throttle I'm putting in here there has to be enough throttle um, to stop the descent but remember at this point the quads weighing slightly more than it was because it's got now the, the inertia pulling it towards um, as it's heading towards the ground it's got gravity pulling it towards the ground so we need to add more throttle than we would have if we were in a normal straight tracking uh, line here um, but then what you have to remember is once we've caught it and we've stopped it descending we then need to back the throttle off because there's going to be more throttle than we need to carry on in a straight line so you can see here there you go you saw the throttle drop again just enough um, to now keep us tracking in a straight line and keep the altitude the same and that's going to be different for your quad than it is for mine if you could have exactly the same setup as me but your quad is 100 grams heavier than mine or 100 grams lighter um, that will affect um, how much throttle you put in to uh, catch the quad and to arrest the descent um, and then how much to back off to keep you in nice transitional forward flight um, very important so again that that's a feel thing you need to go out you need to do a whole bunch of these you need to get comfortable with that um, down at the ground here you can see the altitude where i've ended up um, should be more or less exactly the altitude at where we started which it is um, so let's just go through that again watch the right sticks so there's the pop and then drop maneuver and then we're now going to catch as we start to descend and then finally back the throttle off to stop us uh, ascending into the air after that final catch so I'll just show you this one more time up at full speed so you can see it uh, see what's going on with the sticks Okay, so let's have a look at another example here. So this is a slower uh, slower roll here and I'm popping a lot harder. So we're looking to clear these trees here. Um, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna do a basic roll. Um, let's just have a quick look at this up at full speed first. Okay, so you can see um, I, I, although I initially started the roll quite fast, I slowed it down there and I had a lot more hang time than I did when I did the first one, which was closer to the ground. And the way I got myself some more hang time was just to pop the throttle harder. Um, so I'm just going to slow this down again and we can see that in action. Um, so there you can just see me starting to pop the throttle. And you can see there we go and i'm really you know jam it in pretty hard there to get lots of upwards velocity and then there we go that's the second part as um as i said with the with the first example we are doing the drop and we are doing the maneuver so this time we're rolling off to the left um and then here you can see as i'm kind of halfway around the roll um you can see i've now um uh, started to slow and bring the stick back towards center just to slow this roll down um, and you can see, you can also see you know I'm still quite a way over the trees uh, here even though this is you know still close-ish to the tree line um, and it's only at this point where I can see I'm heading towards this other group of trees in front of me um, that I then go for the catch maneuver and same as before catch nice and hard and then drop the throttle to make sure you then don't bounce back up into the air um, and you can see I then just continue on a, a yaw round to the left. So let's just have a look at that one more time at the nice slow speed. So lots of forward speed, about level with the trees, popping hard, dropping, executing the roll. And then as we come back towards level horizon, we then execute the catch and back off the throttle to make sure we don't then jump further up into the sky. And then finally, let's have a look at chaining a few of these together. So the difference here, um, I think, compared to what was going on with the others, is I broke the rule um, about what I was saying on the last part with the catch. So um, if I slow this down here, you'll see, because I wanted to go from one in succession straight onto another, um, roll you'll see 
there's the pop, there's the drop and the maneuver. And then for the catch, what I'm actually doing is catching very aggressively, um, basically to go straight onto another pop um, so that I can then do another maneuver and then the same here. I'll Instead of, uh, as well as doing the catch, I'm again popping really hard um, to try and maintain the same altitude so that I can then do a third one. And that allowed me to stay at more or less the same altitude for all three. So let's just have a look at that slow again. So we've got the pop, drop and maneuver, straight back into popping hard again, drop, there's the maneuver, and then again, as we come level, popping hard again, straight onto another one, and then finally catching, backing off the throttle and turning round for another go. Um, and again, I'll just give you that all together at full speed. So you can really start to have a lot of fun with this. Um, and that is a setup maneuver, um, that sequence of events, which um, you can do it with flips, you can do it with rolls, you can do it over your trees. You know, it's the same, it's the same thing that um, we did during the setup for maneuvers like the peekaboo. Um, you know, this the, again, as I've said before, the sky is the limit, quite literally. Um, this, this is the way you set up for a lot of inverted maneuvers. Um, even if you just want to pop up into the sky, half flip into inverted, hang there for a while and then, you know, roll or flip out of it and, and just catch the quad. There's lots of ways to practice this. Um, it's the foundation of many, many FPV acro maneuvers. Um, and I, I guess if you now go and, and, you know, watch some of your favorite FPV pilots, um, watch some of their videos, maybe you'll, you'll recognize where they're doing some of this, especially if you've got videos, you know, where you're, you're getting the raw video file to listen to where you can hear the motors because they're a very, good telltale sign of what's going on with the throttle and you know on that note the throttle you know that it's one of those things you probably work the throttle more than any other you know uh, control on your transmitter when you're doing acro FPV you know you, you use the throttle a lot um, so I think this is a great way to get started and um, as I said this will be the foundation for a lot of the, the uh, intermediate and more advanced maneuvers we look at. So I hope that's helpful, um, have fun, let me know how you get on and um, if there's any more basic stuff that you like covering you know, please give me, give me a, a heads up in the comments. Like and subscribe for more and um, I will see you in the next one with something more fun to try so uh, see you soon.